Early September can be a really interesting time to fish in the mid-Atlantic as seasons like flounder come to an end, start to focus on other species like striped bass, bluefish, or tog, maybe even sheep's head. In today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on bridge fishing for tog, and they're not gonna be the biggest, but you can get some nice ones in there. So yes, it's a short, uh, but it is a tog. And I wanna point out real quick, I am fishing with bottom sweeper jigs. Uh, this one has a swing hook on it, and I am using green crabs cut in half. They're not really big, uh, and you just feed it through the, uh, the hole that is made when you cut the legs off and back through the body, and you just drop it down to the bottom. Now, one of the important things to remember is when you're bridge fishing for tog, you're often gonna be catching other species. You can catch striped bass, you can catch right there like the, the black sea bass, uh, so you really have to be aware that it's truly going to be a multi-species day. Nope. And you hear me say nope just there uh, because I thought I got picked. And it's very common that you're going to get picked. Uh, your bait's going to get stolen a lot when you're tog fishing. Not as much as when you're sheep's head fishing. They're not quite as good at stealing the bait, but quite often with tog. So the key is if you think you might get picked, Make sure you drop it back down. If you're not getting immediate hits, your bait's probably gone. So let me point out a couple of details. First of all, I am fishing right next to a large bridge piling that is underneath me that you cannot see. But if you also notice by the patterns on the bridge, those stains that you see on the concrete there, I'm also fishing in the same spot. And one thing that's important to know with TOG is you can build a bite. So you, you keep pounding the same area and you get one fish interested, then two, then three, and all of a sudden you start getting them all active within that, within that specific area and you can pull a lot of fish out of one little spot. And the fish get a little bit better. Thank you. Striper. Big striper just went by. So being up so high definitely has its advantages. You can see everything. Um, I can actually see it better in person than you can see on video here. And right yeah. there I'm pointing to the striper that is swimming by. And what you don't see is that shadow line between the bridge. You can see my shadow and the bridge shadow and the sunshine coming over top. It's just like fishing at night and fishing a bridge. You want to fish the shadow lines, and what you can't see there is big schools of spearing that are just lined up along that shadow. And you will see from time to time in this video splashes from different areas where you're going to see bluefish coming up to feed on them. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm trying to get under, and I'm trying to pick up the tog, and I just keep them coming. This one's actually a, a fun fish. Um, and I want you to notice though, before I hook into it, I'm actually tossing a little bit forward of me and letting the current drift the bait back and under me and alongside the piling. Now I have the outgoing tide. Normally I'd fish the other side of the bridge to get into the eddy on the back side of the piling, but there's no space to stand over there. I'd literally be in traffic. So you have to do it safely. So I get on the opposite side of the bridge. I let the current take it underneath and uh, towards the backside, and as it drifts back towards the backside, I hook into a, a pretty decent tog right here. A 
15 inch tog is legal to keep in New Jersey at this time. You get one per day uh, up for the next few weeks at least. And I just didn't want to take just one 15 inch tog. Uh, so today was all about catch and release and, and that's what I did there and that's what I continue to do. Now remember, I'm building the bite. I'm just focusing on one spot, just pounding it with the crabs uh, on the bottom sweepers and just trying to build the bite in that one area. And the fish started off really small and I start to get some better ones mixed in. They're not all gonna be great, but I'm building that bite, I'm getting the interest and it, it just keeps going for a while. This one's about 14. So as I mentioned before, sometimes you're just going to pick up other species and when you're fishing a bridge in southern New Jersey and you're using green crabs or sand fleas on bottom sweepers, you're going to pick up some of these sea bass as well. So these are just little guys, not anything you would want to keep. They're not, I don't even think they're in season to be honest with you, but they're way too small. Uh, so I'm just tossing them back and I'm just going to continue to pick through this area. All in all throughout the day I picked up almost two dozen tog uh, and I didn't even count the, the sea bass, caught bluefish as well. Um, didn't catch any striper though. So now that you've seen this popping up at the screen You're gonna see another video that has me catching tog last season from a boat Which I think you should check out also playlist. Hope to see you in the next video